Hey, I'm finally back after a few weeks of uh, not posting anything or a couple. But uh, what we're working on today is a 99 Chevy uh, Silverado. It is a 3500. And the problem was that uh, it was idling uh, at an idle. It was running very rich. Um, it took a very long time to crank and start. You know, a long crank period with no start. And uh, then it finally would fire. Um, like I said, it's running very rich and very rough. So I, I kind of uh, suspected a fuel injector had stuck open. and was just, uh, you know, at least one fuel injector was dumping raw fuel straight into the uh, intake. So uh, the way I tested it was I first took the, uh, I first took the fuel pressure gauge up to it and cycled the key without the engine running. I cycled the key on and then back off. And when everything's working right, it's supposed to hold the pressure about, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 PSI. It's supposed to hold that pressure and not leak off. Well, I would do that and the pressure would leak off within three seconds. So I knew that either uh, it was draining back to the tank, uh, you know, possible pressure regulator problems, or most likely it was the fuel injector since it was running rough. So um, the way I tested it was I took the intake plenum off. And over here, I made a little temporary switch to the fuel fuel pump relay, and I fused it. And so that way, the way this is set up, I could actually pull the plenum off and see the fuel injectors while they were still hooked up. So that was awesome the way this design is because that keeps me from having to pull the injectors out individually and test them. I can actually test them with the fuel pump in the truck. So, um, the way this is, I can sit here and watch these fuel injectors, and then flip the uh, switch for the fuel the fuel pump, so I can pressurize the fuel injectors with the engine off and see which fuel injectors are actually leaking. So let me show you how that works. I don't know if you can see this very well. I'm trying to zoom in. Mm, maybe. Lighting's pretty poor. But. You can't see it, but those two injectors are absolutely pouring. And I've got one more back here that's pouring. So I've got three, three injectors that are stuck open on this truck. And so. That is the cause of the problem and also this customer said that above throttle or above idle um, this truck would run pretty good so that makes sense because it uh, you know at a higher rpm the engine can handle that amount of fuel so you don't you wouldn't really notice it so I will see if I can get a flashlight and uh, shine down in there because this camera don't have a light on it for some reason but you now I'll show you actually how bad this is leaking Alright, so this camera doesn't want to focus the way I want it to, but I think I can still possibly show you. So let me see. Put the fuel pump on. Yeah, it's pouring. Check this out. See that? switch off. I don't want to pull out of fuel in there, but alright, but like I said, uh, you know, it's a quick, easy way to test the uh, fuel injectors, see if they're leaking, and if you have a uh, application that you can't test the fuel injectors in the vehicle like I did, what you can also do is pull the fuel injectors out, get a uh, syringe from a, uh, say, a veterinary supply store or something like that and uh, turn the fuel injector around once it's out and with the o-ring still attached to it stick it into the uh, syringe where the uh, syringe part would go and then take carburetor cleaner or some kind of pressurized fluid like that and uh, stick the straw through where the needle would normally go and uh, spray it in there and you can test it like that um, if I get a chance and uh, if I get a chance, I'll try to find an old junk fuel injector and show you because it's kind of hard to visualize, I'm sure, what I'm talking about. But, alrighty, um, 
I'm gonna go get the three fuel injectors, change it out, and put this thing back together. And with the tune-up, I gotta change spark plugs and wires and all that stuff, just cause it's due for it. And plus, that much fuel running through there, I'm sure it's probably uh, fouled the uh, spark plugs out on three of them anyway. So, all right, I thought I was gonna show you a uh, if you're going to bypass the relay like I done. I was going to show you how to do it. Um, if you notice, the 80, uh, this camera stays focused. Um, the 85 and 86 is actually the magnet on the part of the relay that pulls in the contact points. And uh, all illustrations like this are uh, referred to as if there's no power on the relay at all. So, um, looking at the schematic, uh, 87A and 30 is normally closed with no power on the relay which means whenever uh, there's power on the relay when we turn the key on then you are actually crossing over 87 and 30 so that's how I knew uh, what two parts to make a switch for to cross over to run the fuel pump so because I knew at a rest that the uh, <clears throat> 87A and 30 was already connected so on this particular one, I just had to uh, make a fuse link with a switch to go between 30 and 87 for on the fuel pump. So, uh, just a little piece of information on uh, how relays work and how the schematic is on these. But um, all right, here's what I was talking about earlier. Um, if you have to pull the fuel injectors out of the vehicle, um, this may or may not work depending on how much pressure it takes to. Uh, cause one of these fuel injectors to leak but if it's a pretty bad leak or the you know the injector is stuck open of course then it should just uh, it should work to uh, let you determine you know if this if it's leaking but anyways you just take a uh, body of a syringe and this one's not the right size but you'll get the idea but you'll take the inlet which is this end of the fuel injector and Put it in here, but make sure it's a you know pretty tight fit. And then you can take a can of carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner, whatever you want to pressurize it with, and you'll get one that the straw fits in there like that. And you may have to drill it out a little bit, but so basically you can uh, pressurize the tube with this, and if it leaks out of the end with no power or pulse applied to the uh, fuel injector you know it's bad because it's stuck open and leaks so um, I've also seen uh, some people use the same method to clean fuel injectors with you know they will uh, pulse electric electric current through here just to uh, open and close it but you have to be very careful because if you hold uh, current to these they burn up pretty quick so anyways uh, yeah that's how you uh, test the fuel injector out of the vehicle if you uh you know the cheap way anyways and so there you go all right i've got the re uh injectors replaced um went ahead and done a uh tune-up on it replaced all spark plugs spark plug wires distributor cap rotor button i'm um, done oil change and stuff too but i didn't get a chance to film it before because i didn't plan on filming this at all but um, before it would take a good uh, 10 to 15 seconds of cranking to start um, Whenever it did the uh, gas fumes raw gas fumes at about uh, Was almost too much to handle um, had a violent shake in it uh, Slow throttle response and all that stuff. So we'll see what it does now after the uh, Replacing three injectors and tune-up <laughs> It's a lot better. And no shake at all. So, yep, in a lot better shape. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.